I don't normally do these. I wanted to talk about what I learned yesterday in my mindfulness call. Have you heard of the exercise called RAIN, R-A-I-N? Maybe it's called the RAIN method. R stands for recognize. A stands for accept. I stands for investigate. And N stands for nurture. Those of you who know me, I tend to really enjoy asking people how they're feeling and offering feeling words rather than just taking good as the answer. Recently, I've been learning about my own inner self and my own feelings and how disconnected I am. More often than not, I think I, when answering how I was feeling, I would be able to kind of answer from a surface level the feelings that were really obvious. I'm realizing that in learning about noticing my own body sensations, like when my throat tightens or when I feel like I want to curl into a ball, the physical body feeling creates an image in my head as if I'm laying on the floor just sprawled out like starfish. That's what one of the physical feelings I have feel like, question mark. In noticing the physical body sensations, also trying to now get in deeper with how I'm really feeling. I had a really rough 24 hours and I just had so much that I wanted to share about in this mindfulness call and I felt like there was so many different loose ends that I would just be talking all over the place. And when I expressed that, she snaps, Jessica, who leads it, suggested that since there's so many different things, could we walk through the RAIN method? I agreed. I remember she had explained it before. I wrote it down, but I had never really put it into practice. What's fun is that later on in the call, she's actually talking to someone else, sharing about how she has learned that we think we're an active participant in our trying to process the things mentally and get better with the self-growth stuff and similar to kind of how we, you know, we know we're brushing our teeth. We know we're picking this thing up like we we think we're an active participant but when it comes to like this active growth this mental growth and processing what we're going through it, it is it is so exhausting and I don't think that we are given the space and the tools and the right guidance and support to be able and time and all of those things to be able to take time realize that we can recognize what we're feeling there might be a lot going on but what's the most overwhelming feeling at the moment and then accept accept that feeling i have a hard time with abstract things like accept it sit with it meditate on it the doing of these these things that i don't see concrete steps to follow and the way I imagine trying to accept, to allow that I was feeling, ultimately, I kind of had a mixture of like a top three, shame and realizing lower self-worth than I had originally realized, though it's reflected in other ways. This feeling of low self-worth, I now have to make room for it. I have to accept it. I have to allow it. And the way I visualize this is, if you haven't seen Inside Out, please go watch it. I think of it as if a random character comes like maybe there is this like separate room where all of these like suppressed emotions hang out, right? Joy, anger, sadness, fear, envy are all up front, you know, working the work in the control panels, right? And maybe an inside out too. I, I don't know. I'm excited to see like if they expand on the the emotions that we have. But anyway. I kind of imagine it as just another one of the characters kind of walking in and people kind of look at her like, you know, like, oh, what is what is happening here? And then when I experience that, I imagine them kind of like making room and giving her space to sit. That's a her, I guess. Giving this low self, so probably an inner me, so space to, to sit and be there. I investigate. What is it that I am believing? What is it that, where, where, where do I feel it in my body? What is it that I'm potentially believing about myself? For me, I don't often have opposing opinions about myself thrown at me in like a more verbal way. It's, it's lower 
but I was able to identify that when I was thinking about it and when I was noticing it, that I was feeling it right here. I was feeling it right here specifically. It was just throbbing a little bit more and it was right there. I, I noticed it. The end is nurture. What do I need? What do I need to nurture myself right now with how I am feeling? Maybe I can't rectify the problem. I can't find a solution. I can't. There's no control in any part of what is in front of me. However, what am I needing in this moment? For me, with the loneliness, I think that it's connection, which might seem kind of obvious. When we really got down to it, and I was in this reflection on Saturday anyway, my throat started closing up, which is something I'm noticing when I have trouble speaking on things. I'm starting to tune into that. And I I also noticed the 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 feeling of wanting to curl into a ball. And so she asked, What do I need? I said, like the tears were starting to come up and I said, I think I need to get off of camera and mute and cry a lot. Not everybody needs to cry. It was really interesting though to notice how when I breathed with her and allowed myself to explore these prompts that it just made a really big difference for me. And I've already tried to tell three different people about this and I feel like this is, this is how I'm going to share it with you guys. I would love to talk about this more.